Right, there's a nasty leak inside the shop. Um, I've just popped up on the roof. The lead is pretty bad. There's obviously water going to be able to run straight down in there. Um, this ridge tile here isn't even bedded on. It's just sat there. <clears throat> the ridge on this bit, I can see the nails. And if I can see the nails through there, I can pretty much guarantee that the ridge aren't covering the slates at all because they've just been spun round sideways so maybe 20 mil mm, don't know hard to tell but <clears throat> and then down this uh, whatever you want to call it there's no way that is waterproof and then we come to this You can't tell me water's not getting in there. Uh, this side has got <coughs> a cement fillet on it, which is, well, it's broken all the way up. So there'll be no, no way of stopping the water from getting in there. The roof isn't that old. I've been inside, all the sarking is, well, it looks new. So, uh, maybe 10, 10 year old, but yeah, not nice. And then we've got the same problem up there, I fear. That won't be waterproof either. Give them the good news. Right, so we've got that bit there. That bit is where them slates are coming up the roof. Yeah. And they're all broken. Yeah. That's coming where that camera is. I mean, yeah. You can see it's been leaking there, but it's not at the moment. The hole in the skew stone that we can see yeah. is just behind that rack in there. Yeah. Up there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that must be leaking behind all this yeah. and you can't see it. Um, so as we venture up here, I switch the light on, the leak is there, all there. So the leak is that up there yeah. on the ridge. That's what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. what, they're not seeing what they're not seeing yeah. is what's going on over there. Okay. And it's got to be running down that wall. Oh, I can't get up in there properly to see. But it has to be. It has to be coming out in uh, the actual property. It can't not be leaking. There's like, a huge hole in it. Yes. But... That's our problem at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I know what will be said. It will be, we need to stop the water coming in. Yeah. So, right. Just, um, leave red. Right, so, other side of the roof. Big hole in, well, lots of places. It's definitely a big hole there. Um, but we've worked out that we think the leak is roughly round about here. And as you can see, I can see the nails from the ridge, and I can see in between the slates. I mean, right through. So it doesn't look like they're bedded on. So, they're not. So that's why the water's getting in. Um, slates are too short. I'll take the whole lot off and redo it. I'd imagine the felt has kept the water out for a certain amount of time and it can no longer do that. 
magic. Well, I've just lifted up that lead and well, it's moved a good 150, 200 mil there. You can see where it was done the first time, where the cement is here, but the stone is actually another 50 mil back up. You can see that bit there was what was put in the joint, but because it's not been fixed, that one slid, stopped, and then the bottom one has slid, stopped, and then that bit that Dell's holding is the bit that was just hanging on the edge. Um, there was just a bit of mortar holding it on. Yeah. Crazy to think someone would actually think it was a good idea to leave it like that, but this is after it's been repaired. Um, it's raining at the moment. The only way I've got of stopping that coming in is to do that for a couple of days. Wait for it to dry up, come back. Put these slates on so they're actually the right size. And you can see where the ridge isn't covering. Um, Re-ridge it. And try and do something like that. Don't know how heavy they are. We might have to pin it, drill rods down, and cut the bottom off and then put them in, in the joints. Don't know, time will tell.